What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Abino 99 and it's kind of getting pretty late out right now. Um, it's only seven o'clock, but we don't care. All we came to talk about is this dog right here for sure. Now, I have a feeling what is what's inside this box, and it's something that I really, really, really wanted to get for sure. So. If you're thinking about what is in this box, uh, just know that you're right. So uh, let's look inside of it real quick. Okay, you know what this is? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, man. Y'all know what time it is. Yes, sir, y'all know what time it is. You feel me? Ah, oh, damn. Damn, we got the Kobe box, y'all. Uh, what, uh, Kobe 5? Yeah, Kobe 5 and uh, size 12, as y'all can see right here, size 12. I don't know if y'all can look at that, but yeah, size 12, 13, 13 and a half in women's. And in case if you're trying to cop a women's Jordan and you're a size 12 or a size 11, go with a 13. Go with a size 13 in women's or go in a 13 and a half, which is a size 12 in men's. So those two are equivalent to each other. All right, but let's look inside this box real quick. No way. Yo, don't be worried. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, man. We got the PJ. We got the what the PJ Tuckers. A Kobe 5 PE. So, like, look at this pair, y'all. Like, look at this pair, man. Words can't describe how much joy I'm in right now. Like the detail, it has that semi-plastic shiny, shiny material, the Nike swoosh check. It's kind of funny because uh, I don't know if y'all do this, but like if y'all look closer, it doesn't have dots. But what I'm looking at from this side, it has dots right there. So it also has like a little mark right there, but it's all good though. Now, this shoe came out uh, last year um, during the NBA season, or sh I should have said last season. And one person that I noticed I was wearing this was John Wall when he first got traded to the Houston Rockets for Russell Westbrook. Now this pair, it's a it's a pair that was designed from by PJ Tucker. If y'all don't know who PJ Tucker is, he's the goat at sneaker collecting. This man has over a thousand pairs in his crib and other places as well. Like the way how he could, the way how he made this Kobe was more like a. I felt like he just probably rushed it or something like that. But it's a good, it's a good pair. Like this Kobe, it literally speaks to me, man. Like I like Kobe's that have different colors. It's more vibrant and much more different. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a good pair that um, the gifters that send it, that send this to me to show to show y'all this shoe. And what else I got? The midsole looks, midsole has a sail color, as y'all can see right here, it has a sail color. The bottom sole has a purple, I thought this was black, but my mistake. Uh, it has, also has that black part right here, that shiny black plastic part material. And the logo right here, it is a highlighted green, but it has different other colors. It has threaded, it has mesh here on the back, inside, inside the insole. And look at the insole, man. The insole looks really amazing for sure. Like it looks really amazing. I cannot lie to you guys, but the insole looks amazing. Look on the other pair. It's also supposed to say what 24. So yeah, this is what the pair is saying right here, 24. And on the back it says Kobe. Look how that light is shining on the back of the shoe. Like, damn, it's dope as hell. Like it's really dope. And I can't thank the gifters enough for sending me this shoe because they know that I'm a Kobe fan. They know I love Kobe's, but like, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm just out of words today. Like, this shoe is really dope. I love him so much. Like, and it's more like a basketball shoe. Like, you just got it from the store, you know what I'm saying? So, now, I know y'all have not seen this in a while, but boom. As you can see right here, we got the black light, and I just want to check to see if there's markings. So what I'm gonna do is lower a little this. bit. You know what I'm saying a little bit. All right. 
and here we go as you can see right here there are no markings on this shoe to be honest no markings at all no markings as you can see on this side as well no markings at all no markings even front of the tongue on this shoe of course oh that's a little bit bright but yeah no markings on this shoe it's just really dope i just can't wait to do this uh performance test for you guys so that way it could be much more fun and yeah i can't wait but uh shout out to the gifters for sending me for this for sure but i don't know if y'all was the hoop in these, what would you rate this as? Because uh, for me, I'll give this like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, because this shoe is really different from other shoes. So that's all I'll give it for. But how y'all feel about these? Would y'all hoop in them? Would y'all wear them for lifestyle casualties and so on and such? I don't know. But let me know in the comment section below what y'all will do with this pair. All right. So we talked about the shoe talk about the materials we talked about how would we rate it as so why don't we get to this on foot review and let's go How you shoot. Shoot in hand, left hand, right hand, elbow locked in, up, and shoot. 